What's up everyone and welcome back. Thanks for watching. We're actually out, obviously out here at the property today and we're going to do a kind of a walkthrough for the inside of the cabin. Had some requests to do that and that's what we're going to do and take you guys along for the ride. So one thing I want to emphasize with this cabin is that it's very budget friendly and that was what we we're going for. And I know most of you out there, that's kind of what you're looking for too. You, know, you could spend you research, I think I pointed out in the last video, there's places out there, and I'm not knocking them. They do a great job that they'll do a fully set up cabin that has all the, the features of having all the wood accents and all that. And you can spend quite a bit of money on a very tiny cabin. And we just didn't want to do that. To us, if we're going to spend fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000, then I'm going to want somebody to site built me a cabin. That's what I'm going to want. But that's not what we wanted. We wanted something that was basic and also we can move it if needed. So, I would say all in with this, all in with this cabin, we're about sub fifteen thousand, and that includes everything that was done at the place that built it, uh, all the insulation, all the walls, the, the 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 front door, the windows, and all that. Only thing that we added was the rooftop deck and the front porch, which I walked around in the first video. But for us, that was perfect. But you know, the one nice thing about it is, is and we'll get into that when we go into the inside, is that. Everything is mod. You can modify it, so you can go through and update it as you go. So you can almost get this as a as a blank canvas, so to speak, and then just kind of modify. But let's let's get on the inside here and check it out and kind of walk through it. But just to go on in here, just a regular type door. You can see going in, it is she's basic. There is not a whole lot in here other than the essentials that you need to kind of survive. So we'll just kind of walk around what we've got in here and then how it could be modified from here. And I think the, the fact that it can be modified to me is kind of the really cool thing. So all we've got, folks, is just a basic, just a basic bunk bed. And we've even got, these are even air mattresses in here. I probably could use regular mattresses, but I just don't like something like that being out here. I don't know if it could get, you know, gross or humidity or anything like that but more on that in just a minute as far as keeping this thing sealed up but you got to have a tv and then what we do out here which is pretty cool is we just literally download movies on our phone and just run an adapter and you can sit here and chill out veg out all night watching movies if you want the electrical was ran that was already part of the package whenever we bought the cabin itself so that was already ran and you can see all the electrical lines themselves are ran very industrial or commercial looking in conduit because remember this place that did this they really specialize more in <clears throat> excuse me more in stuff for like commercial applications job sites whatever air conditioning of course whenever it gets hot that's a must but everything we've got in here is just basic basic just easily replaceable stuff for comfort but you could always come in here and modify it. So you've basically got an empty shell that you could do whatever you want with it, if that makes sense. So we'll just kind of talk about these walls and how they're done. So this is kind of like a, well, let me get, let me get another spot over here, a little better lighting. This is a, just like a siding that's done on here that's painted. The two by fours behind this are actually flat, if that makes sense. So they're not sticking out vertical. And that's just to kind of help space because this is a 20 foot container. It's about 150 to 60 ish square foot. So you want to really just kind of save space as much as possible. However, nothing is stopping you from coming in years later. And we could even do that. And it's also on the ceiling and ripping that out and doing some kind of really nice accented wood or something that would really just make this place feel rustic same thing on the ceiling it's the same stuff and then the lighting is very archaic so all of that could be the cool thing is every bit of that could be modified it wouldn't take much um, even the doors could be replaced the windows can be replaced and so forth so you you've got you've got some options is what i'm trying to say as far as heating and cooling, I already pointed out the air conditioner for heat. We just run this regular old heater, which I need to roll that out because this is spring, but it's a little bit chilly. But yeah, it's just very basic setup. But all in, I mentioned at the start of the video, I mean, we're talking, goodness, we're talking well below 20000 which we did our research on, on other cabins i know some people may not think this is a cabin per se but it's in the woods we'll call it a cabin and that's what we're going to call it but 
there are some of these that were fully outfitted that were forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars. And to me, if I'm going to just my opinion, if I'm going to spend that kind of money, um, I'm just going to go with a site built cabin. I'm not going to I'm not going to mess around with bringing something out like like this. That's more of a kind of a, a temporary type option. For the TV, we do actually it does actually kind of rotate out. Oh goodness, I can do that by myself, which is nice because again we can just hook it up. And then we just keep our basic stuff out here, stove and all that. We bring our own food out and heat it up, or you can cook it out here if you wanted. Oh, and of course you got to have the, uh, you got to have this out here, the old NES, which some of you younger folks may not even know what that is, but that's fine. Show my age a little bit. Windows are nice. We got them open now. Probably hear the birds out there, which is awesome. Great views. They put the bigger, they did put the bigger windows in. I. I don't like the looks of the bars on it, but we kind of did that more for security reasons, I guess. I never had problems out here, but you never know. And then this view is just nice because you've got you got the full length on the door and that other window right there. And then we do have those, I guess you'd call those drapes. I don't know what the proper term is, but anyway, we have those there that so you can close it up at night because I always feel like I'm going to turn around and it'll be dark and Sasquatch is going to be sitting there looking at me and it'll freak me out. And then we got this one. And of course, you got to have your got to have your cake up machine for obvious purposes. We are on the grid, so I can't call it off the grid. So all these devices run just fine. But but it's just basic. That's all it is. There's nothing. You know, it's kind of an empty shell. What you're getting is you're getting something that's budget that you're not going to spend that much money on from the start. You can get it set up. You can get it hooked up. And you can just start kind of modifying it from there. And they kind of helped us with starting it. And, you know, from there, we could easily gut this thing out and redo it. But for our purposes and what we use it for, we're not going to change it. We might, we might have to do some modifications on this door because that is, I don't like how that closes up down there. But that's just, to me, that's just more about a necessity versus anything else. But. That's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot really to go through over that I can think of. Uh, if anybody has any questions, please, please put them in the comments or just please, you know, let us know. Um, and yes, even the bed is cheap Ikea, which I don't want to talk about Ikea that much because that bed was probably harder to put together than this cabin. Leave it at that. But everything else just cheap, cheap. And I say cheap because we just didn't want to put a whole lot of money to it. Oh, and then one other thing I wanted to mention. So one cool thing about this being a shipping container, and this is what I love, and then I also want to talk about the humidity part. That's right. When you come into this cabin and it's been sealed up, there is nothing in it. I mean, it, is, it has been sealed. If there is any bugs that were in here that got in, they are laying in the middle dead. So... It is a sealed up unit and that really helps. We've left food out here. We've left stuff out here accidentally and it is perfectly fine. So my comment about the mattresses where we were concerned about humidity and all that and stuff, they would probably be okay. So it is, it really helps seal this up. And the other thing for humidity, we do run, is it hooked up? Yeah, it's down there. It's not hooked up. A little cheap Amazon, Scamazon special dehumidifier. That, I think, helps with the humidity in here. Obvious, it's dehumidifier, duh. But you do get condensation. And we have enough space underneath for wind flowing underneath the cabin itself to help to keep the, the external part and the steel ventilated. But if you leave anything on this floor overnight and you got the heat going, you will get moisture built up. So we have learned, for example, under that bottom bed to run a fan at night. That's just what we do. I'm sure there's better ways to do that. If somebody has some cool ideas, please put them in the comments. Would love to learn that. And then this window right here, for some reason, is the condensation uh, attractor. And most of this is all like PVC and everything. So it's not, you know, it's not really a big deal, but you do get condensation. And I think most tiny homes get it as well. It is a, it is a concern, but it's not, it's not that bad. It cleans up. And as long as you get some ventilation going, especially the next morning, it dries right up. And that's, that is one thing to think about with these sealed up cabins like this is if they're sealed airtight and you've got that heat going, you will get that. So at night we do run the, we do run just the fan on the air conditioner. So, you know, so we're, so we have plenty of oxygen to breathe. We want to make sure that's flowing, but that helps out a lot there. So 
But that's pretty much it, folks. It is a it is a neat setup. We love it. We love it. It's great. It it does what we need it to do. It serves multiple purposes for us just to come out here and enjoy. It's good for hunting. It's good whatever it is. Or if you just want to get away, just just getting out here and watch some freaking movies at night. It's it's great. But but I appreciate you guys and thank you for watching again. As I called out earlier, got any questions? Put them in the bottom. We'd like to do what we can to kind of help answer those for you. But but, you know, just subscribe and hopefully we're going to have some more videos on this cabinet in the future and we'll talk to you guys soon.